I'm a mother of five, and I have children in both elementary school, middle school, high school, and we've seen the headlines recently about vaping. Smoking and now vaping in young people is an issue that's both alarming and ur an urgent healthcare crisis. Precious lives are at stake and the clock is ticking. Sadly, we are seeing headlines of, about this on a daily basis, about the vaping epidemic. The latest headline read that the sixth person has died from a vaping-related lung illness. Vaping deaths have been reported around the country and it's only a matter of time before it hits Tampa Bay. Today, I'm filing a bill to raise the legal age to purchase vaping and tobacco products to 21. My legislation also bans the use of flavoring in vaping products so they can no longer target our children. This is about saving lives, plain and simple. It's about protecting our children. One in four Florida high school students report using e-cigarettes in 2018. That's a 58% increase from the previous year. The evidence is clear that smoking is bad for our kids. More and more, it's apparent that vaping is causing harm to our kids. The American Academy of Pediatrics has recommended the minimum age of purchasing e-cigarettes should also be raised to age 21. I believe there is no debate here. Keeping our children safe is paramount and something we should all support together. Failure to do so will bring tragic consequences. We need to pass this legislation this session to protect our children.